What's up everybody? This is Steven with Steve Snake Sherwery. What I want to do today is I want to do a snake comparison video. I'm going to compare different snakes side by side. We're going to look at some of the differences and, uh, and what some of the local snakes are here in Louisiana. And uh, I don't have every local snake here in Louisiana, but I do have several of them and we're going to show those side by side. We're going to look at some of the differences and I'm going to talk about each of these snakes to because I get a lot of questions all the time. I get a lot of phone calls. People, th people think that they have a water moccasin in their yard, and it's just a rat snake. Or, you know, some people say, oh, they think it's a, a rattlesnake. Well, it's just a king snake. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare some of these snakes side by side. We're going to talk about each little, each little snake that we have here. And uh, so you guys can get, get more familiar with some of the snakes that, that are out there and some of the snakes that you may see in your own backyard. So I'm going to start with some of these snakes right here. We're just going to go through some of them. And we're going to take a look at what we got here. Uh, let's see, this first snake I'm going to pull out here is either a, a black racer or a blue racer. And these dudes are fast. And uh, he may bite me. He, he's bitten me several times before. But you notice the blue on the side. A lot, that's why a lot of people call these guys blue racers. Uh, but it does have a lot of black. You notice the tail fades out here. And uh, fades from the black to the brownish color. Great. Yeah, he just bit me. Ah, oh, yeah, he's getting me good. And uh, he can bite me right there. Nice bite. That's a good video, isn't it? <laughs> Dude's not letting go. And I'll tell you a little trip. This, this is a non-venomous snake. Yeah. Okay, you can let go now. You don't have to do that. You're not going to eat my finger, man. We'll put you back. I'll, I'll let you go. You can go ahead and go on back in your little cage. Let me go. There we go. Don't go anywhere. There we go. Okay. Ah, I'm glad he bit me because I want to show something with a bite. If we can zoom in here, you see all the little bitty puncture wounds. See a whole bunch of little bitty puncture wounds. Now, that's I'm not saying get bit by a snake to find out if it's venomous or non-venomous, but it's a very good clue that it was a non-venomous bite. You see all the little puncture wounds. A lot of people, that's one thing I want to talk about, and uh, that was not the snake that I wanted to show that with, but that's okay. First snake out of the box to get bit. That's one thing I wanted to show. A lot of people, you know, freak out when they get bit by a snake, and they're like, oh my God, I just got bit by a venomous snake, and... You know what? If you see a whole bunch of puncture wounds like that, it was non-venomous. If it was a venomous snake, boom, you'd see two puncture wounds. And, uh, and that's all you see. But you see a whole bunch of little bitty bite marks all around. And so that's how I know it was a non-venomous snake. And I'm not, like again, I'm not saying, like I said before, I'm not saying get bit by a snake to find out if it's venomous or non-venomous. I'm not saying that at all. Definitely don't do that. But I knew that snake was non-venomous, so I knew if it bit me, it'd be okay. But uh, that's a black racer, blue racer, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you, those, those snakes are hard for me to find. I've had a lot of people tell me they, they've seen them, and, uh, and they're very, very hard to find. I'll tell you, another one that's hard to find is a buttermilk racer. Those are beautiful snakes, beautiful mosaic pattern, bunch of different colors on their scales and things like that. And I wish I had one to compare, but uh, awesome snakes. And these snakes, too, uh, a lot of people say they chase you. They don't chase you. Snakes don't chase you. Um, but these snakes, they do stand up like this in the grass, and they go like this through the grass. They're really, really cool, and they are super fast, too. But uh, that's why I call them racers. But they do stand up like this, and they run through the grass like this. Awesome snakes. Very awesome snakes. And uh, again, non-venomous. Non-venomous, but a lot of people think because it's dark, it's a water moccasin. It's not. Let's move on to another snake here. Let's see what we got here. Okay. This snake here, now, now I've got snake, snake smell all over my hands. Hopefully these guys right here will leave me alone. This right here is a prairie king snake. Oh goodness, a prairie king snake. And I'm not sure how the how the lighting is. I know it's kind of dark over here now, but the uh, the patterns it's got little squares on its pattern. Uh, you know, little rectangles, little square looking patterns. And uh, a lot of people think these are water moccasins. They're not. These guys uh, these guys can range from green to brown. This one's got got a lot of green in it. Green and brown and gray. And again, these dudes right here, see somebody, when, when, when they rescued it, I don't know, oh, he pooped everywhere. There he goes, he's pooping. Did you get that on film? <laughs> That's one of their defense, one of snakes' defense mechanisms is to poop. They defecate to, uh, to try to scare you away. And, uh, but you can see somebody kind of nip the tail right there. I don't know, maybe they hit it with a lawnmower or something like that, I don't know. But uh, we do a lot of rescuing, so we have people bring us snakes all the time. And we never know what happens before they bring it to us. But anyway, this is a prairie king snake. And these are very hard for me to find uh, because a lot of times they're fossil. They live underground a lot of times, and they come out when it rains. And because it is a king snake, they do eat other snakes. They eat rats and mice also. So that's a prairie king snake. 
Let's move on to another one. I'm going to try to get these king snakes out of the way since I got snake smell all over my hands. Here is a speckled king snake. And did you see his rattled tail? Look, he's rattling his tail. Did you get that on film? Did you happen to get that? Let's see if we can get him to do it again. Look, did you see that? He was rattling his tail. Look at it, see? See him rattling his tail? And and a lot of people think, oh my gosh, he's rattling his tail. Look at him. Look, you see? You see that? And a lot of people think, oh my gosh, he's rattling his tail. It's a rattlesnake. No. King snakes and rattles and, and king snakes and rat snakes rattle their tail also. They they rattle their tail. Look at it. You see it going? See his tail? They do that against the dead leaves and against the dead grass to sound like a rattlesnake. They mimic rattlesnakes. And a lot of people hear that sound and they think, oh my gosh, I got a rattlesnake in my yard. But they don't. This is a speckled king snake. And again, this is going to be a scratch and sniff video. So if you scratch your computer screen, you can smell it. They go, they, uh, rat snakes, king snakes and things, they give off a musk to try to scare you away. And uh, I'll tell you one thing about king snakes. Uh, these speckled king snakes, I've only had two that were aggressive. Most of them are non-aggressive. And I've had two that are aggressive. One was very sick when I rescued it, and the other one was pregnant. It was gravid. And uh, those are the only two that I've ever had that were very aggressive. But again, king snakes eat other snakes. They do eat rats and mice, but they eat other snakes also. So that's why I'm trying to be really careful, because I do have the smell of snake on my hand. So I'm trying to be very careful. But that's a speckled king snake. And uh, these guys can get five feet long. And uh, I've seen some pretty, pretty good size ones, some very good size ones. Uh, this one's still kind of a juvenile, still kind of small. And uh, awesome snakes, beautiful snakes too. And I'm going to be honest with you, last year, well, I think we rescued three, three, four, five of them or something like that. And uh, the years before that, I hadn't seen them for 15, 20 years. I used to see them all the time. And uh, I'm hardly seeing these guys now, so I'm not really sure what's going on with the environment and things like that. But I'm hardly seeing the speckled king snakes anymore. Uh, so if you guys see one, they make, to me, they make great pets. You know, I'm not saying go catch every one you see, but uh, they make great pets, very calm and things like that. And of course, a lot of people like to keep those around to keep, because they eat other snakes, they do eat venomous snakes. And uh, they eat copperheads, water moccasins, rattlesnakes. And uh, a lot of guys, a lot of people like to keep those around their house because they do eat other snakes. They know they're going to take care of the venomous snakes also. Uh, you know, I like all snakes, venomous also, so, you know what I mean? If a snake's going to keep other snakes around, you know, away from your house and, and protect your family, okay, that, that's okay with me, I guess, you know. So, but a lot of people like to keep those guys around. Uh, we're going to save him for a minute. Now, these guys right here, these are the ones that I was going to try to get to bite. These are Texas rat snakes. Now, with Texas rat snakes, I got three of them in here to show all the different colors that they can be. You see, the smaller one's a lot lighter. This one's a lot duller. You can hardly see the patterns on him. You hear him rattling his tail? The big one over here is rattling his tail. You hear him? And uh, these guys rattle their tails also. And one thing with these guys is a lot of people get these confused with water moccasins because when you walk up on them in the wild, they open their mouths real wide. And I'm going to see if I can get one to do it. Let's see if I can get him to open his mouth. They hold their mouth open. He's Oh, he struck at me. Oh, see how he's holding his mouth open? You see that? And they do that, and a lot of people think, oh my gosh, I've got a water moccasin. But they don't. It's just a rat snake. That's all it is. It's a Texas rat snake. And a lot of people think, a Texas rat snake? Well, you live in Louisiana. Well, you know what? Snakes don't get to the border and think, oh my gosh, that's Louisiana. I can't cross the border. <laughs> no, they don't care. That's just the way that, that's just what they're named. They're just named Texas rat snakes. But you see how he's opening his mouth. And when you walk up on them, you know, they open their mouths as a defense. And people think it's a water moccasin, but it's not. But I, I got three of them in here to show the different patterns and different colors. We've got, we also have black rat snakes here, which are pretty much the same thing, but they're a lot darker. You don't see a lot of the whites and the reds and the browns and things like that. And those are black rat snakes. But I brought three of them out to show the different patterns and different colors that they could be. But uh, all of these guys were rescues out of, out of a business or out of, out of someone's home. See him rattling his tail right there? And... Uh, a lot of guys, you if he just bit me, see, if uh, a lot of guys, if you have a barn, you know, or if you have a, if you keep chickens, um, a lot of times they they'll go in, they'll eat the small chickens, and uh, see, see the blood on my hand, see how there's a whole bunch of little bitty, whole bunch of little bitty marks. It's not just two little puncture wounds. 
And uh, I wanted to mention this too, you know, a lot of people are scared, they freak out, you know, and they think, oh my God, I just got bit by a snake. But once you realize, hey, wait a minute, that really didn't hurt. You know, once you get over the fear of it, you think, hey, wait, I really didn't feel that. I barely, look, he drew blood and I didn't, I knew he bit me because I watched him, but I didn't even feel it. And uh, see, they're calmed down now. But um, there, there you go, come on, come on little buddy. Um, a lot of people get these confused with water moccasins and things. And but what I wanted to mention was, with uh, you know, with the bite is, a lot of people, even because I'm going to talk about venomous snakes here in just a second, a lot of people get bit by a venomous snake and they don't die from the bite. They die from because they go into shock. And uh, that's one thing you know. If you do get bit by a snake, I know it's easier said than done, but you need to stay calm, stay very calm. And I'll I'll probably do another video to go in more detail about that, but. You know, if you start breathing fast and your heart rate goes up, you can go into shock. And that's what kills most people. It's not the, the bite itself, it's, that, it's the fact that they went into shock. You know, you can go into shock just because just by being bit by a little non-venomous rat snake. You know, because you freak out and you think, oh my god, I just got bit by a snake. But, you know, it's a non, these are non-venomous snakes. And, uh, like I said, I'm just doing a comparison video to show you guys, hey, these are these are non-venomous and these next ones are going to be venomous kind of thing, you know, so you get a get a feel for it. This next one, I these dudes here, they stink, they smell horrible, they poop everywhere. I don't like them, <laughs> but I keep them because I do presentations. And uh, like it like like with this video, I'm going to compare it and I'm going to show you guys some of the differences. This is a yellow belly water snake. And I'm not going to get him out because I don't want him pooping everywhere and stinking up the place. Now, he may strike, so don't get too close, okay? Now, notice a lot of people think, oh, my God, he's got a triangle-shaped head. He's got a diamond-shaped head. So it's venomous. Oh, my gosh, it's venomous. And that's not true. These guys, see how it looks like a diamond or a triangle? A lot of people think if it's got a diamond or a triangle-shaped head, then it's venomous. But that's not true. That's just a plain yellow belly water snake is all that is. These guys right here, they puff up their bodies. You see how he's kind of puffing up his body? And they'll flatten out to make themselves look really big. They flatten their heads out to make it look like a diamond or a triangle shaped head. But these guys right here are non-venomous. I get a lot of calls. People think these are water moccasins and they're not. I've seen a lot of, a lot of people think, you know, they take pictures and they think, look at this water moccasin that was in my pond or look at this water moccasin eating all my fish. Well, it's not. This is just a plain yellow belly water snake. I'm trying to get him flatten his head out. Okay, but uh, that's just a plain yellow belly water snake, and that's a non venomous snake. Okay, so let's move on to the next ones. What I want to do here is I want to compare these guys here. I'm going to take the lid off, and I'm not going to reach down in here because I don't have my gloves. Okay, these next snakes here, I have water moccasins and copperheads in this in this cage. Okay, here's what I want to point out, Scott. You're going to have to follow me with the camera. Look at this little dude here. And this little guy right here. Okay? Both of these guys right here are water moccasins. These are baby water moccasins. And a lot of people think these dudes right here are copperheads, and they're not. It's a water moccasin. Look at this copperhead right here. See how the patterns are smooth? It looks like a Hershey Kiss or an Hourglass. Look right here. You can see it good right here. Look at this one right here. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the cage because I don't have my gloves. See, it looks like a Hershey's Kiss or an Hourglass. And look at these dudes here. These guys here have like, almost like a lightning bolt pattern. See how the lines are different? It's almost like a little lightning bolt right there. See, look at these. Can you guys see? Can you see it side by side in the, in the screen? I'm going to put them on top of here. See how it's different there? This is a juvenile water moccasin. And this is a copperhead. Now right here, look in this corner here. This is actually an older water moccasin. Look at that water moccasin. I'm going to pull it, keep it keep it on that side over there, Scott, because I'm going to pull this dude back over there, okay? I, I would, I'd be a little bit, I'd, I'd do it a little bit faster if I had my gloves, but I don't have my gloves. This is a juvenile water moccasin, and here's an adult, uh, <clears throat> not an adult adult, but a sub-adult water moccasin. And see, a lot of people get these guys confused, juvenile water moccasins, with copperheads because of the patterns. When a water moccasin, as it gets older, it gets darker and it loses those patterns. You can still see some little patterns right here on the side. 
but they really they get a lot darker and they start losing those patterns. And if you can compare, I've got two copper heads right here. This one's going into shed. Move this dude around a little bit, just a little bit. You can see how the patterns aren't quite as lightning bolt as these. I call them lightning bolts because they look like a lightning bolt to me. And then these are more smooth, like an hourglass or a, a Hershey Kiss. And then right here is an adult, or not, a sub-adult water moccasin. Okay? You guys see the differences? I want you guys to see the differences so you know. And then let's look up, I'm going to try to get the belly flipped over here. Okay, look at the belly of that one. That's a copperhead. Okay, let me set him back down. I'm trying to be very careful because, like I said, I don't have my gloves. And then here is a water moccasin. Let me try to get him over here. Hang on, give me just a few minutes. Uh oh, can you get him? Hey, I don't want to get you bit either. Uh oh. I'm trying, like I said, I'd, I'd be a little bit better if I had my gloves. Do you see the belly? Okay. Now, I'm not, I am not telling you guys, hey, if you see one of these snakes, flip it over and look at the belly. I'm not saying that at all. Okay. Now, uh, can you zoom in on their eyes? People mention this all the time. Okay. See the eyes? Can you see the eyes there? Right there? It's our cat slit looking eye. Can you see it at all? I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's got like a cat slit eye. And a lot of people say, well, if it's got a cat slit eye, then it's, then it's venomous. Okay, keep it on that because I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over. Let me open this water snake. Hang on just a second. Okay, let's go back to the. I'm gonna lift the water snake up right here. Okay. Now look at the eyes of the water snake. They're round eyes. You see the round eyes? Now I do not want anybody getting close enough to a snake to look at its eyes to tell if it's venomous or non-venomous. That is absolutely stupid. I don't want anybody to get close enough to look at the eyes. That is true except for coral snakes. We have coral snakes here in Louisiana. Coral snakes do not have cat slit eyes, they have round eyes. And a coral snake is highly, highly venomous with, with neurotoxic venom. Okay? Now these water moccasins, copperheads, and rattlesnakes, let's move over to the rattlesnakes. Um, I don't I don't want to open this one. So look in look look over here. Look in through here. These are cane break rattlesnakes. Now all these guys have the cat slit eyes. These right here are cane break rattlesnakes or timber rattlesnakes. Can you hear me a little bit, Scott? Okay. We have cane breaks and timber rattlesnakes. I'm gonna move around here so you can hear me. Okay, the cane break and a timber rattlesnake are real pretty. They have a lot of browns in them. They have this stripe that runs down the back. Can you see through the screen? See that brownish golden stripe that runs down the back of the uh, back of the snake? And that's a timber rattlesnake. And these guys have excellent, excellent camouflage. A lot of, I hear a lot of people going out hunting, um, and they say that they step on them. They don't even hear them. They just step on them because they have excellent camouflage. Excellent camouflage. And uh, I hear a lot of horror stories about people killing these guys. These guys can get over six feet. Oh, beautiful, beautiful snakes. And uh, I'm not sure how well, is it showing pretty well through the screen top, Sky? Because I kind of wanted to show the one in the back has got a lot more pink in it, and the one in the front has got a lot more browns in it. I'm not sure how well it's showing up through the screen. But uh, just beautiful snakes, and I, I hate hearing people kill those snakes because they're such beautiful snakes. Awesome, awesome snakes. And, uh, <clears throat> but of course, of course, very, very deadly. You know, and I, I highly, you know, like I said before, you know, it's, it's better, it's easier said than done. But if you ever get bit by one of those, stay very calm, but get to a hospital very quickly, very, very quickly. Let's move on to the next one. The last one that I have over here is an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. Now, we really don't have Eastern Diamondbacks here in Shreveport in the northern part of Louisiana. They're more in the uh, middle, uh, middle eastern part of Louisiana. But I have heard stories about people seeing those. Uh, I personally have not seen any outside in the wild. Uh, but people say that they have seen them out there while they're hunting. So, again, another deadly snake. Be very, very, very careful. Be careful, Scott, because you can't spit the venom out of that top. Uh, they don't spit their venom. I just want to clarify what I just said. They don't spit their venom, but when they hit that screen top with their fangs, their venom does spray out because it hits that screen and sprays out. I've had that happen, and it's gotten my face before and burned my face. Uh, so that's why I'm just saying be careful. But that right there is an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. 
Um, and again, like I said, I wanted to do a comparison video to show you guys the snakes we have in Louisiana and to get you guys kind of familiar with what you may see in your backyard. And uh, these snakes aren't just in Louisiana. They are kind of all over the country in certain parts of the country. But uh, uh, like I said, I just want to do a comparison video and show you guys what you may see in your backyard and, uh, and to get kind of familiar with the differences in the snakes. And again, this is Stephen with Steve Snakes Away. We will see you guys next time.